Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are The Hustle Couple coming at you today with the largest thrift haul we've ever done. Yeah. Definitively. Yeah, we have a living room full of Ikea bags <laughs> from the weekend of thrifting. We went to a road trip, sorry, we went to a road trip. Um, how do you say that? We went on a road on trip, a road trip. There you to go. Austin. And we live in Dallas, so we stopped at the Waco bins on the way, and then we went to the Austin bins, and then when we got home, we went to the Dallas bins. So this is a, yeah, a bins trifecta. <laughs> and it also was a couple other little random thrift stuffs thrown in, but we'll let you know. Yeah, so we are just going to go through everything that we got and... Show we wanted to let you know what we're buying. Sorry, my hair is wet, y'all. We had to film early in the day because we don't have a ring light. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta use that natural light. Uh, we're gonna get one. But uh, we wanted to let you know what we're picking up. I think it's important because different times of year and different seasons, we buy different things. Yeah. Speaking of. Speaking of. This is Dan's purchase, which we need to get listed today. Yeah. Y'all. <laughs> it is actually bigger than me. I think... No, but actually. <laughs> <laughs> Has very large feet. Wow. Mojo's looking at this thing like, what are you doing? Like, it's very tall. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. so, okay. Um, that was the first thing. This came from Austin, I believe. I passed it in the bin. In my head, I said, Dan's going to get that. Yeah. And then I saw him. Get it. It's in the Be cart. It's, uh, it's from Dandy. Um, and... It's giant and it's Easter and So if it, it doesn't shot. sell, we'll sit it on our front porch as decor. Yes. That's exactly what we're gonna We'll do get it. that listed today. Oh. He likes picking <laughs> up very large plush. I do not. Okay. So this is a lot of plush that came from I don't know, one of the bins. Let's just go. This stuff came Oh, look at him. Yeah. Okay, this is vintage Dakin. This came from a thrift. Yeah. 95 cents. It was probably half off. So this little <laughs> bow tie has come off, but I will fix that. This is what the vintage Dakin tag looks like. There you go. I love this stuff. I'm not sure how much. I never know how much they're worth. Yeah. When I pick them up. I just. You just get them all pretty much. All of them. It's my favorite thing to sell. If you have a favorite thing to sell and it does make you money, go for it. <laughs> Mojo, see? Mojo's sitting right beside me. We have so much room. He loves a thrift haul. Random thrift stuff. cat. Okay, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to do all the bin stuff first. It's fine. It's nobody fine. cares. No, nobody cares. Oh my god. We have a lot of plush, so sit back, get some tea. Right. This is a Macy's um Northern Exposure at Macy's. Moose. Like the the movie? Like the TV show. TV. Yes. Okay. I don't typically pick up these department store plush. But we have sold them. We sold a, a Mervyn's one or something mm -hmm. just recently. Yeah. Okay, we'll look it up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, something is giving me that eye oh no. issue. All right, this is another vintage Dakin. This is Fun Farm by Dakin, 1986. I'll pick them up every time. The Panda Bear. And if you watch our What Souls, we sell a lot of vintage Dakin. I mean, at least one or two a week. There's a market out there, people. I have no idea what this is, but I couldn't leave him behind. Look at, I, I, look at is it a it's Santa or no? A gnome? That's a gnome. That's he's a little bell. He's puffy, a gnome. Puffy gnome with a Korean or Japanese tag. Give I me this thing. No oh lord! See, he buys these, and then I have to list it. Like, yes. What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> You're welcome. He is cute though. Um, I found you another Sum Sum. Oh my, oh, this is, <laughs> I know what this is. This is the little Cinderella mice. <laughs> I collect these until I get enough of them to do a lot. Yeah. And then they do sell. Look how sweet. Okay, I like right. that. You got this guy. All right, this I definitely wanted. Dan picked this up and asked me if I wanted it. Uh, this is a vintage cabbage patch. And when they have these weird funky faces like this, this is like the first gen. Mm -hmm. It I, was fun. Look at his nose. It's all weird. Yeah, it looks like it's a fake cabbage patch. These are worth some money, and it has the yarn hair. Uh, I will note that all of this stuff has been put into a heater because I'm neurotic. This is the more normal looking one. Right. These are the ones that I had as a kid, and the yarn hair is in great condition. This side ponytail is a rare one. There's many, many cabbage patch websites where you can look up the actual head mold. I'm sorry, what? 
you know, this one is a <laughs> green eyed with one tooth and dimples. So okay. you never know. And then the combination with the hair makes these more or less valuable. Okay. No matter what, I flip these. Even if they're naked and busted, I can flip them for like $20. It's not something that you're going to get rich off of. But I don't like to leave these anywhere. I always pick them up because I had cabbage patches as a kid and <laughs> it's nostalgic. Yeah. And there are people that restore them and that makes me happy. Here, you want to set this bag over there? Sure. It's already getting full. I don't, I'm going to put these plush into this bag. Okay. So our heater is linked below. I just wanted to tell people while you're doing that. It heats yeah. everything up to like 160 degrees or more for four hours straight. And then it kills any bacteria or bugs that might be lurking. That's right. Because I would not have this plush in my house if we didn't have that. <laughs> All right, so I got a couple of horror DVDs at the bin Oh, as I didn't well. know this. Okay. Yeah, I snuck them in there because... We love horror. Horror DVDs and horror movies in general, the, the weirder the better, right? Or the so, more, like, niche. You, yeah, so this is Nightmare at Noon. That looks good, yeah. Right? Like, the ones that you make in your backyard. Those oh, yeah, ones. totally. And then we got Creep Show 2. An experiment <laughs> in terror. So after this video, I'm gonna go through and comp some of this stuff. We'll put it up on the screen if anything's particularly great. Yeah. And I want you to be careful with hauls when you're watching them because we don't know what this stuff's worth, right? right so just not. because we bought it doesn't mean that you should buy it. The best videos to get advice for that are the what sold. Yes. All right, we got all the vintage plush. Look at this little guy. This is this is from Walmart. Vintage Walmart. There you go. This came from the bins. Happy hopsters. So we're going to list all this Easter stuff. This Easter stuff is moving right now. So we're going to get it listed today. All right. I'm going to do a separate junk bag haul. Perfect. I have Stick very around. many, many junk bags. I'll do it right after this and I'll air it tomorrow. So many junk bags. Oh man, there's so much. Okay. Um, Who's vi this? Video game plush. This is from Raving Rabbids. Which is like a, I think it was a Nintendo game. Okay. I don't, I don't remember if it came out on other consoles. I think it, yeah, it probably did. Uh, it's a game made by Ubisoft and video game plush I always pick up. Because yep. somebody somewhere is a huge fan of said game and wants merch from it. Cool. And it has the tag, bonus. Bonus. All right, cool. like it. All right. Like uh, wooden, Our, oh, the rattle one. The little jelly cat with the rattle inside. It's a little pink bashful bunny. Sweet. Yep, there you go. We paid $1.99 for this at a thrift. Then it's... I got with tag his friend the Fuddle Waddle lamb, I think. I'm pretty sure. I haven't even say? looked at the, I haven't even looked. Yeah, medium Fuddle Waddle lamb. There you go. So if you know the, the name of the jelly cat and the size, they sell much quicker. Yes. And uh, I will cross list these. <laughs> I know. I will cross list these onto Posh. We paid two ninety nine for this, even though there's a price tag on here that says nineteen ninety nine. I don't know what somebody was thinking about that one. So Jelly Cat's one of our favorite brands of plush to pick up. They always flip yep. and a pretty safe bet. All right. And a cute. There is other stuff besides plush, I promise. But this is a Disney Parks Eeyore uh, pillow pet. Oh, that's cute. You know, it like turns into a, a I like that. It has the tag or not? It does have the tag. Wow. Yes, boom, right there. It's fantastic. I mean, it's it's kind of bent up and whatever, but it's still on there. A uh, hot tip. Hot tips. These grease pencils on cardboard, if you take a regular pencil eraser, it's the best way to get that off. Yeah. Super easy. All right, what else we got in here? We got a little Webkins lion with the code. Cute. Webkins is having a moment still. Right, that's a lion. Or is that no, a dog? That's a dog. That's, that's a, dog. a dog. What am I thinking? It's the dog. <laughs> anyway, if it has the code, we'll pick it up. But if it doesn't, we don't. It's a Cocker Spaniel. Okay. So cute. Um, this is a vintage applause. Very weird looking bunny. Yeah. So, so in the SEO of this title, I don't know if this is worth anything, but I'm going to put I don't either. pink and blue striped so gray the... bunny. Because odds are that someone is that's looking for this isn't going to remember that it was applause. Yeah. They're going to remember what it'll look like. So I'm gonna go for that in my description and hopefully sell this back to someone who loves it. No. <laughs> oh, it was a hand puppet. It's a ha yeah, Manhattan Toy Company uh, hand puppet. Hand, hand puppets are in. Uh, yeah, and I don't know exactly why, but puppets are selling, and this the is the folk Manus ones do well. This these guy do is well. super cute. Oh, 
That's cute. This is someone's like yard sale rejects. Something. Yeah, because they're all little like yard sale prices yeah. on it. Three dollars. All right, and then this guy was probably the plush find of the day. Hold on. I just need you store. to know that this says three dollars. This is a Goodwill barb, and this is a thrift store tag. <laughs> He's. Nobody we are the. Him. Nobody wants him, <laughs> and maybe that was a sign. <laughs> All right, uh, this is a gunned um, life bear. His name is Bogey. Yep, Bogey. Uh, he still has the tag. That's cute. And this was obviously a Susan G. Komen collaboration. And I looked up comps and they were going for like 40 to 60 bucks. Cool. So that's the first one I grabbed at that store. Nice. We do look up comps when we're suspicious on something. So things like Jelly Cat and uh, the Vintage Jaken, we don't typically look up comps, especially if they're a dollar or two. But for this, Dan was probably just like wanting to know. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff. It's fine. Are we getting into some clothes? Yeah, this okay. is some, this is more bins stuff. This is- Bins. Like, is this Waco bins? Yeah, that was Waco bins. All this right. isn't worth a ton, but I just couldn't leave it there. Yeah. And then they charged us a, a weird price for it. I don't know. I think the, she was trying to cut us a deal. This is the Close Up USA set from National Geographic. This is from the 1970s and it's super cool. It's got this book inside of it and then each is a map for road trips oh cool so fun and it talks about each region of the united states it's all complete i think we paid 2.99 for it it's probably worth about 30 dollars but to the right person this is going to be a great find yeah. somebody probably had this as a kid or has kids and they're going on a road trip it's still probably applicable it just talks about regional things so anyway i had to get it you know me in the vintage yep sweet oh yeah i got this Metallica tour shirt. Nice. From San Antonio, 2017. We buy almost every single, if it's less than a dollar, we'll buy a tour shirt. Yeah. And we sell them for about 20. Yeah. That's fine. Because somebody cute. went to the show, you know, and didn't get a shirt or whatever. Right. Or lives in San Antonio and likes Metallica. It's fine. <laughs> These things always sell. Here's another tour shirt. I picked that up too. This is an Imagine Dragons 2018 tour shirt. I think someone's gonna want that, right? Yeah. Very I don't cool. typically pick up the, you know, Forever 21 versions of Van Tees or whatever. I pick up the tour ones. Yes. Primarily. Unless ah, it's like. A, this was tour shirt day. I did, I got all of them. <laughs> it's Boy George. Boy George. <laughs> I might keep it. Look at that, that's a cool shirt. It is a cool shirt. Lots of tour dates, wow. All the dates on the back. Yep. Go. Wow. I know, Joe. <laughs> what is this is free people okay That's oh wait cool. culture club okay it's not just boy george it's culture club. Oh, okay i just needed to make sure in case anybody's interested i don't know what size it is it has all the sizes listed oh it's a medium okay it's like circled or something it's underlined see ah okay this is from free people raw hem sweater with detail on the sleeve. I always pick these up yep. and they move. Window cat. <laughs> okay. This is a super cool cropped Corvette shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs this in their life badly. Okay. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Race day. That's right. <laughs> I'll put all those keywords in it. The, I mean, this is stuff that's not worth like crazy money, y'all. But when you're at the bins and you're paying like four cents for something. Yeah, right. Might be all right. We don't comp things. Um, this is just a real simple Athleta sweater, but. That's nice. It's nice. It's, I didn't see any stains or flaws on it and it feels real nice. Wait till you put it in front of that camera. It'll show you everything. <laughs> I didn't see anything. You're I'm right. just saying. No, that's what. I'll... The camera tells all. Mojo is completely rambunctious today. <laughs> he loves a haul. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, this is all my stuff. I know. Okay, and this is, this is something else I probably would have not picked up unless it's at the bins. It's a reversible uh, Tommy Bahama quarter zip. I think that'll do well. Yeah, this is very small, so this might be, do they make women's? Because this is They tiny. do make women's, yeah. This might be women's. We'll check it out. So. There's normally a style number, I think, on Tommy. 
We'll check it out. We'll check it out. Oh. I got this. Yes. That's awesome. Right near the beach. <laughs> uh, this, this is really popular in the 90s. Remember on Clueless when those guys were hitting on Cher? One of them was wearing one of these. Uh -huh. And uh, so the 90s are in right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell the crap out of this thing. Sell it. I know. All right, we're trying something new. You I, heard? I didn't know about this. Yeah, this is a jujitsu gi. Uh, it's just the top. It's from Vector. Um, I don't know if this brand does well or not. I do know some jujitsu stuff is really, really expensive and does resell pretty well, but we don't know. I have no idea which brands those are. Right. So we're now. gonna look it up. Okay. And this bin's the one in Austin. We didn't get any service. I didn't get any service. I don't know if you did. No. I couldn't look anything up. I did. I looked. I looked this up because I didn't know what it was. This is um, Hinkapi sportswear. It's 100% merino wool, but it's like a cycling jacket. Oh, that's nice. It's really nice. It's got you know the water bottle pockets in the back, but it looks like a sweater. It's very it nice. It does. It the only it has a tiny little hole back here on the back of the collar, but that's the only issue that I saw with it. So cool. I'm going to take a chance on that. All right, I'll look this up and then put a comp up if it's good. Yep. And we did, of course, grab a couple of plush. Oh my God, look at this guy. Him so old. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Gantz little schnauzer. This is a, is that Webkins? It's a schnauzer. Uh, yeah. yeah, we shouldn't have picked that up. Nope, no code. No code! Oh my God, look at this guy in the sun. He's so happy. He's sunbathing. <laughs> um... Who's this? Did I get him? I think Toy I did. Factory? Just oh, a little. Look at him. Look at him's face. <laughs> hey. Had to have. Had to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a. I think this is a Stingray Squishmallow. Yeah, it looks like it. I've never seen one of these in my life, so I was like, all right. We'll try it. I'm going to take a chance on this guy. We are still selling, selling Squishmallows. Some sell for more than others. And then I found this uh, tan. Ghostbusters hat with the black logo. Oh, that's nice. They had like another, it. yeah, they had another, like a red logo one, but it was thrashed, so. Okay. I'm taking cool. a chance on that guy. Ooh, there's a couple more junk bags, which we're saving for a separate thing. What is? I bought so many junk bags, you're gonna love it. What's even in here? Who's this? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I just got this. I meant to look it up. Connected from Toy Factory. It looked like, you know, something from a show. Anybody know the show? I'll look it up on Google Lens. We've done really well with plush like this. I don't know why. Okay. This, give me this. Get out of here. Y'all, I bought all the Fisher Price fake food. <laughs> so I never could afford this when I was a kid. And I remember my friends had it. I saw this first. Oh, man. And this is from the Play Food set, and one of my friends had this, and I couldn't have it. And I was so jealous. So there's the little Fisher Price tag. No, it's not gonna focus. But anyway, you see. So I, I got all. Oh man, this is, is McDonald's. That McDonald's fries? This is part of the bologna and cheese sandwich. <laughs> I got the little pan. All right, hold on. I got. I don't know if any of this stuff is worth anything. Just leave me alone. I got the French fries that go with. See, mm. I got the mixed veggies. Okay. This looks like some scrambled eggs. Perfect. Here's the bread that goes with the bread pack. See, two slices of bread. I don't know. Oh, man, that's... I got the cookie. Y'all, <laughs> I remember this so clearly as soon as I saw it. I got the hamburger bun. Spatula. Mm -mm. Perfect. The mitt. Here's another piece of bread. I was digging, too. The hot dog. Oh, my God. I know. You're all jealous, aren't you? Right, Amy, what are you doing? Wait, I'm gonna lot all this up and sell it. Here's a little turkey. <laughs> Another, I got the other cookie, the brown one. Uh oh, rare. I know. <laughs> and that is it for my fake food haul. I got these two little guys because they were. This is one of those things. Okay. Yeah. The Disney. Infinity. I have no idea if this one's good, but I just put it in there because it was bins. And this is something else, Disney. I don't know. Sometimes these turn out to be surprisingly good. Yeah. We got two blood pressure cuffs that we sell on Facebook. I'm not sure if we can sell them on eBay, but... Yeah, they're not prescription. You can definitely sell those. Yeah, I don't know. And this one has a thingy. I don't know. Two blood pressure cuffs. Two of these. Here, put your food in. I, I got. I bought this bag at the bins. Wait, I was going to see what's in here. Oh, that's your phone. Oh, 
Oh, I got this because there's like a little Playmobil guy in here. Okay. I got this bag of all these littles. Oh, look at these little Smurfs. Look at these little Smurfs. Oh, wow. I got these little Smurf figurines. Y'all, this stuff is my favorite stuff to list when I'm overwhelmed. I can just like dig in and grab this bag and get a bunch of listings done of weird little things. So don't judge. Try it out for yourself. Buy yourself some weird littles if you're into jewelry, whatever you're into, so that you have for a bad day. Here's a little Playmobil guy. Oh, yeah. I always keep stuff like this around. Okay. All right. This is, this is Tux. This is a gunned penguin. Still has the tag. Um... Looks a little vintage, doesn't it? Slightly, yeah. Is there a it. date on there? No, no. Tux Jr. Junior. Where his mama is. I don't know. Or daddy's. Um, uh, I don't know if I should have got this guy or not. This, this is a... Why does his that? face look weird? I don't know. All the Lion King plush I found recently, <laughs> the faces have looked very weird. Uh, but it still has a tag, so I'm going to give this one a shot. Okay. But the other Lion King stuff I looked up was not, was not, not, good. not good. Speaking of Lion King. Okay, um, what is this? This is a vintage Dagon, of course. Oh, at least, look at that. He's got the big logo on the paw. Oh, I grabbed him real quick. Yeah, you did. I'm going to get him. And a lot of times these will have a certain name to them. And they were given as gifts. So people remember them. All right, junk bag. I will list it. There. Oh, look, shoes. Oh, yeah, I got some shoes yesterday. Look at those. These are Manolos. I found them for $3.99. Very nice, very nice. Do I know if they're authentic? No. Figure it out. There you go. I'm not afraid. I don't assume everything's fake. Right. I assume it's, like, probably real, but maybe fake. <laughs> and I think that's a, probably a better way to go about it. And then I just verify that it's real. If you're trying to verify that it's fake, you get into these, what do you call them, rabbit holes. Yeah, yeah. So just look at the websites that say what Manolo, Manolo, you know, look like if they're real and what to look for. And then I look for those. And once I'm like, check, check, check. And then I feel okay listening it. Yeah. Okay. You want to come back over here, And it, for three ninety nine, it was worth a gamble, right? If they're fake, I'll just. Oh, it's in the way your food comes. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. These are, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have another pair of these. Isabella Fiore. Good, 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 good. Great shoe brand. Cool. Those are in great shape still. And they're Italian made. They're wooden. We got a pair of these out of Thread Up one time. Did we? And they were worth 300 Yeah. They're listed. With, with all the stones? Uh-huh. Different brand. It was, well, similar. Giuseppe Zanotti. No, those aren't the ones I'm talking about then. We're talking about two separate ones. Okay. Mojo. <laughs> Well, let's Can go. You, look at this guy. <laughs> That's Mojo. <laughs> He's 21 years old and everybody's favorite YouTube cat. Okay. Um, Come on. I grabbed these on a whim because I just saw them hanging at the, ed, at the end of the rack. This is a pair of men's Patagonia just like running shorts. Oh, perfect. They were four bucks and they'll easily flip for like 30. Sure. And then, um... Mojo, you're 100. You don't need to be acting like this. <laughs> He's trying to get in the window again. Um, I did get one more sport coat because I just couldn't help myself. Um, it was five bucks, but it's a recent uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, just department store brand. He's in the window. But it's a, um... It's, got, it's made with Xenia cloth. Ayo! So, I mean, even uh, just be, it's, even though it's just quote unquote a Sex Fifth Avenue branded sport coat, I mean, this is probably retail eight, nine hundred bucks. So, for five bucks, I'll, I'll pick this up. So, we need to list that today. We need to get in the habit of when we bring something into the house. Yeah. Especially sport coats, it gets listed because we get the back stock of these real quick. And I'm not. I'm not a fan. Mojo is hiding in the window. <laughs> this cat is 100 years old doing cat tricks. Mojo. Oh my god. He's gonna fall. <laughs> Mojo, you can't go that way. Oh. Okay, we're back. Mojo was trying to be an acrobat. Okay. More bags of stuff. I... When did we turn into these plush people? There's so much. Okay, anyway. 
This is from the bins in Dallas yesterday. This oh whole bag. Oh my god. The 14 inch Christmas dress cuddle bear. I got two of these. Where's the other one? The green and the red. Yeah, I'm of gonna course. list them together. Look how cute. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Uh, who is this? I feel like we, we this know This is her. Olivia. Okay. Isn't that Olivia? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this stuff is so cheap. It's insane. We got this whole bag. Show them the bag. It is very full. The whole thing for, uh, was it two bags? It was two it bags. Was two bags. 12, for $12. 12 bucks. <laughs> That's why we don't comp anything. We're like, okay. And then everything that we don't want, we take back when we go to the bins next. 1984 Loveland. Little Easter bunny with his carrot. We're going to prioritize listing this Easter stuff. I keep saying it, but I'm, I'm serious. It's yep. going to get listed today. Oh, man. I found him. Old school gunned. Is that... It's Snoopy. Is it actually Snoopy? I don't know. I'm going to look it up, but... It looks kind of like Snoopy, but... Look, look at, at this old gun tag. Come on. Wow. Does Stoked. it have a date on it? No. Okay. Okay. And then, y'all, this is my favorite kind of thing to pick up, and you're going to think I'm crazy. These. I love them. <laughs> I pick up these weird carnival plush all the time. What even is this thing? This is from the 1970s or 60s, and they are freaky, and I love them. And you can't convince me otherwise. Shell made in Korea. This tag is, like, barely hanging on. Yeah, it has shells on the inside of it. Wow. Okay. This thing is ugly, but I love it, and I'm going to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> is this a Michelin man? I think so. Yeah. It is. We got the Michelin man. He's going to need a soak. A soaking. Yeah. But it's that'll... Fine. that'll turn out there you go <laughs> oh my god look at this tigger i love him boom i don't know if he's worth much because sometimes tigger can be hit or miss but he's vintage he is okay and he's from disney like disneyland Walt disney disney world from the park yep so i think he might be good could be good I'll, and I'll it's like this different you know. kind of like this fuzzier you know what i mean i don't yeah. know if that's it feels very high quality yeah so we're going to see about this. I'm pretty stoked about it, though. And like I said, though, Tigger can be hit or miss, so I'll let you know. How old is this thing? I don't know, but I had to have it, right? Yeah, this is a gold black circle cutter still in the package. Mm. It's for cutting holes in drywall or plaster. Oh, okay. Yep. Very cool. I love old vintage anything, but specifically tools, plush. <laughs> vintage linens that kind of stuff this is for me <laughs> i got this for me it's a kid's oh, shirt oh man that's good and you I like know that. i love canada hi canadian subscribers <laughs> hello i bought that for myself i was gonna wear it on canada day i will wear it on canada day what's when's canada day i don't know i gotta look it up free people of course this is at our bins dallas bins man come on there you go we do really well with these little ditzy dresses Okay, there you go. There's the and this has a, applique. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Okay. This is a bag. Yeah, I try, I'm trying this one. Okay, this is what uh, Eric Javits. I don't know, it felt nice. Anybody know this? I don't know this. I have no idea. I'll look it up. There it goes. It's a nice summer sitch. Like a beach bag or something. Yeah, doesn't it feel nice though? It does. It's really heavy. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'll try okay. you. I mean heavy, but for the bins, it's not that heavy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is this? Kermit fabric? the Frog fabric. Kermit the Frog fabric. Oh, man. How was I not going to get this? Look at oh, that. I got it. That's amazing. Non-commercial mm. home use only. Pretty stoked. I love selling fabric, especially the novelty print. Like <laughs> that is, that's a great print. Wow. Okay. Ah. Uh, this is, I think I found this. Yeah, this is an Everlane wool sweater. Okay. In you have pretty, to be careful with pretty these. Pretty good shape, I think. Most of the time I you find know. them here, cover up our faces. That's what, that's what you have no, to do. No, it worked. Okay. Uh, most of the time I find them, they're shrunk or felted because people put them in the dryer. Right. So this one wasn't. This one looks, looks, really, looks really good. Yep. Okay. Nice find, an All Saints shirt. I'm not sure if anything's wrong with it. There you go. 
I didn't check it that I was going uh, quickly. Yeah, that but is, that's fine. Yeah, but that, you're right. That's totally fine. With All Saints. You can pass that off as fact. Exactly right. <laughs> so it has a couple of like, you know, down here, little holes. But I might put more in it and be like factory distress. I've done it with All Saints before and salt it. Salt it. So that's what we're going to try. Okay. It would look cooler anyway. Exactly. What is this? Okay. Little baby Gee. shirt. Mm -hmm. Hannah Anderson. Little spaceships. There go. I don't know anything about kids' clothes, but I do know that this is a popular brand. <laughs> I wish I could have found the pants. I think it had pants that went with it. Okay. And then we got what, just some rubber stamps. Yeah, I bought some stamps. So there was a ton of stamps in this bin, but I just bought the ones that I thought would be kind of trendy. So this one says, and the bigger ones do okay. This is from 2001. Um, friendship can bloom into a, I don't know, whatever. Okay, it's a big one. <laughs> And then this, you know, these little guys, these little, um, we call these guys. Uh, I, I cannot remember, but my roommate in 2005 loved these. So I remember that. This is a unicorn. I mean, who doesn't want a unicorn? This one is a Christmas with a squirrel and a rabbit. So I had to have that. Right. And this one's two cats like looking out. Gotta this have it. Gotta have and this that. is a cat sleeping on a pillow. <laughs> I mean, I got all the niche ones. This one's like one of those turtles that I, I'll lot it up with this. Guys, what are these three little... Mm. I used to know it like the back of my hand. Mm -hmm. mm. Making me crazy. And this is a turtle with the same kind of aesthetic. I think there was more. All right, anyway, yep. that's fine. I got the ones that I thought would sell because what I don't want to do is get stuck with a bunch of rubber stamps. Some of them do, they're, do. cats sell. So I'll cats buy all the sell. cat stamps. But like there was a big junk bag at the last thrift store we went to yesterday and it was all stamps. I didn't get it because I just thought I would be stuck with Okay, you got this, and I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's a Minecraft plush. But it's like, it's been through some things. But I let you get it. It has, no, it's just kind of floppy. No, it's like, you know when you wash a Squishmallow, it's like that. Oh, it's like lumpy? It's lumpy. It's this guy. It's lumpy. He's one of these larger ones. I don't... I thought it was something else when it was in the cart. I was like, that looks a little phallic. It's a Minecraft. Yeah, it's, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we do well with Minecraft, but I don't know about the phallic ones. All right, all the junk bags set aside. More clothes. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's Helly Henson. Yes. Love this brand. Helly Henson. There's a little tag Love right this there. brand. Active wear. It's similar to Lululemon. That kind of a thing. Just a Compression top. shirt. Cool. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I got this for $2. Cool. This was more Easter dresses. Four bucks. This is what? Giggle? Is that what that giggle, says? giggle. Yeah. No, no, there's. It's not the there's whole a name. second word. Yeah, giggle. I forgot. I looked it up. This one's good. Giggle moon. Giggle moon. Giggle moon. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So all these okay. little Easter dresses, I we listed a bunch yesterday, and almost every single one has a, a liker and a watcher or whatever on eBay. So I sent out offers. Maybe we'll sell them today. You were happy about this one. Super stoked. Haven't found oh. Johnny Was in a minute. Look at that. That's really pretty. This is 3.1 Johnny Was and... 3J Workshop. I mean, 3J Work... That's what I meant. That's 3J Workshop. But what you can tell yep. about Johnny Was is this big, like, embroidered tag. Yep. It was just sitting there. Just sitting there. How much was it? Six ninety nine. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. I haven't found Johnny Was in, like, months. I know. Super stoked. All right. Oh, you... I didn't mean to get this. I got it for myself. Okay. I, I was trying okay. to not buy stuff for myself. Look, <laughs> yeah, look how cute this is. A little cropped Adidas shirt. Hey. Yeah, I was kind of wondering how that made it in there. This is nice. This is Lululemon. I found this. You found this while I was in line to check out. So, and like, that's where I found the Johnny Was as well. Yeah. Um, so I'm going through and I feel it. And I'm like, this is high quality. So I'm thinking it might be like All Saints because this is, it's a cardigan. Yeah. And then I'm looking at it, I'm like, so I look at the buttons to see if it's Burberry, All Saints, because they'll have branded buttons, and the buttons say Lululemon on them. Yep. And there's also, there's the... Uh, yeah, but that was like hidden, yeah, you know, because at the bottom of a knit cardigan. Yeah. It does have the metal tag on the back there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it was three bucks or something. It, this is nice. It's very nice. Yeah, this will do well. It was $3.99. Four, four bucks. Yeah. And it wasn't like they just put it out. It was like buried in the rack. Because you know the racks, they put the new stuff on the end. It was not on the end. Because Dan was at the register, so I was in the middle of the rack. 
Yeah, this is Pretty a pair stoked of, about it. It feels like silk on the back as well. It's a pair of overalls. Oh, I love this brand. These are Filson. Faraday. I mean, Faraday. <laughs> I love both brands. <laughs> these are not Filson, these are Faraday. And All they're right. a little like this railroad is... striped. There you go. These are cool. Nine, what, nine bucks for these? Yeah, That's they're cool though. Right. It's like a skirt. Super 90s style. You got your carpenter loop. <laughs> it's got a, a lot of keywords going for it here. And the branded Faraday buttons. I hope these do well. I haven't sold this brand in a while. Oh, this was nice fine too. This was your, this is Burberry. Baby, Burberry baby. So right. we went out yesterday and um, I told Dan I wanted to go thrifting because I had a feeling about baby clothes. Yep. And he was like, what? <laughs> Cause we don't buy baby clothes. I just had a feeling. This got, you know, it's got the Nova check on the front where it's kind of all ruffled up, but it's there. Cool. This is a velour. You can't use the word onesie. You have to say bodysuit. Yep. But it's got this, um, I don't understand what's going on in the back there, but that's fine. I don't understand baby I think stuff. It's, I think it's buttoned incorrectly. Oh, I see. And the whole back of the thing opens up, so, yeah. I've never found Burberry Kids in my life, or like, baby stuff. Nope. Does it have the, no, it doesn't have the extra button. Oh, well. Cool. Okay, there baby stuff. More baby stuff. I didn't comp this, I don't know if it's good, but it's cute. The kings of the house. So I was saying on our live ru list- Rubber ducky thing? Last night that I don't know anything about kids clothing, so the way that I buy it is I feel for the thicker fabrics, mm -hmm. and these are all thick. And then I look at the tag, and if it looks kind of like niche, I buy it. If it's a, this was a dollar, so I'm not out there just like rando buying stuff. Yeah, this was two bucks. I can't find any. But look how cute tags this is. No, I had a tag down here. Oh, okay, there it is. I looked this brand up. Primeval. How do you say this? Prime Prim Primeval. Prim Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> We don't know, but it's like organic and you know, it's one of those kind of things. One of those kind of it's things. Fine. It's fine. I had a feeling about baby clothes. Look at this shirt. You didn't see this. I bought this. Oh man. It has the cooking instructions on the back. Oh, that's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> what is this? It might be Forever 21 or I something cheap. I don't know cheap. what this is, but that's hilarious. I had to buy it. It, it was one forty nine. It's branded Kraft. That's hilarious. Somebody out there loves Kraft macaroni and cheese. You know it. And they were one What And what's happening with the macaroni and cheese ice cream? Have you seen that? No, excuse me. No, no, seriously. It's like a thing. It's all over Facebook. There's two very wacky flavors of ice cream out nope. right now. Nope. And one of mm -hmm. them is Kraft macaroni and cheese. Anyway, these kind of shirts like this where you can give them to a gift for someone that's like a super fan of a thing. I always buy it. Speaking of super fans of a thing. Chaser Def Leppard shirt. Man, this thing's cool. I can't stop buying Chaser. I have an issue. <laughs> I will never stop buying it, and I might keep this because... Because that's amazing? Yeah, and there's paint all over it, but I, I think it's Chaser paint. I think it's Chaser paint. This is what we always have this conversation. Like It's like the Where's the Ticket game. Yeah. Is this factory distress on every Chaser? It is, absolutely. Um, okay. I think we're down to one more bag, and then this haul is complete. Oh, that, but it's like a big one. Of course. It's a bag with lots of little bags in it. Okay. Um, what is this guy? You got that. I, I didn't did. Get this that. is a Pottery Barn Kids. Um, llama? Llama or a horse or something. Alpaca? Alpaca, maybe. I don't know, but it's white and it's fluffy and it's Pottery Barn Kids. And it's oh, Google it. Two bucks. Okay. Uh, same thing with this guy. This is also a Pottery Barn Kids. Oh, he's cute. But it's like a fabric polka dot dinosaur or something or your i don't know what this is supposed to be um mm. but he was 99 cents He's so. cute. and then i couldn't find any tags on this that's a yak that's a yakety yak is this a yak that's a hundred percent a yak but it's like this feels like angora it's like super soft right but it's a yak <laughs> what's a yak you no, know that that that's a yak. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm in. Okay, well, I have Totes. this stuffed yak now. Wait, I want to show you. <laughs> I got to show you a yak. You can be like, yeah, that's a yak. Okay. That's a yak. I mean, I, I've heard it. Yeah, I know. I just haven't seen one in a while. Oh, do we have horns, though? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. yak. Okay. 
Oh, it does have horns. Oh, does he? Yeah, right here. That's totally it. Yep. Okay. Or a Highland Q, as they like to say in Scotland. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a yak. It's totally a yak. <laughs> okay. Um, I couldn't leave this guy sitting there with his expression. That's a meme, right? That's cute. That's a good vibe. <laughs> it's a little raccoon. Oh, listen today. This from is from Fable. Fa Fable Toys. Um, this is from Viola Studio. I don't know anything about this. I'm shooting in the dark on this one. Well, let you. It's oh. felt. It's got a little. Oh gosh, moth holes. Okay. This is a. I grabbed a couple of these super dry T-shirts. Hmm. Two I'm bucks. Skeptical. You're skeptical. I'll see if I sell. Okay. So there's one. I don't know if super dry has run its course. Okay. There's two. Well, you only paid two bucks, so maybe that's good. Yeah, I'd, like I said, they were they were hanging there. They were super cheap. What is this? Why did I grab this? Oh, this is Patagonia for two bucks. Oh, and they didn't catch it. They didn't catch it. So you found a Patty and I found a Lulu. Because there is no, there are no logos anywhere except right at the bottom there. Fantastic. Yes, and this is like a... Not a comp it's like a compression shirt, but it's like loose fitting. It's like an Under Armour shirt. Cool. Yep. Um, this is a vintage Mary Meyer finger puppet duck. Mallard. Still has the tag. Yeah, I love the vintage Mary Meyer stuff. Yep. Very cute. Um, you had to have this little bag of stuffs. It's a little bag of ephemera. I don't know what's in here. I'll show you in my junk bag haul. <laughs> Uh, but there was this little tiny copy of Citizen Kane on top. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> is there really? Right here, like, oh my god, that's had to funny. Have it. <laughs> Speaking of had to have it, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, I better look that up. This is the refrigerator um, DVD collection of so good. Seinfeld, the complete series. Wow. So every single episode of Seinfeld on here in this refrigerator box. And these are selling for like a hundred to hundred and twenty bucks, and I got it for six ninety nine. The guy ringing us up really wanted this. Yeah, he was all looking <laughs> in it. He was like, "This is nice, seven bucks." Yep. I was about to. He's about to be like, "That's not for sale." Not for sale. Not for sale, Francis. <laughs> um, you know what's weird about this? So I got this one at at one store, right? This is uh, Alice and Olivia. Alice and Olivia and Starbucks. And it's a plush. Uh, a holiday barista bear. <laughs> there was only one sold comp, but it sold for like 30 bucks and it had the box and everything. So I was like, eh, I'll try it. But I, I found this bear without the box at the other thrift. And you didn't get it? I didn't get it. Oh. This one has the box. Um, it's weird. When we find one thing, we will repeatedly find it yeah. at different stores. It happens more than you think. I bought this. Yeah, you did. Smashing Pumpkins t shirt. Yeah, I think somebody's going to want that. Totally. The ringer, t ringer tea. It's a ringer tea. It's modern. It's not a vintage, but I think somebody else still want it. It was a dollar, ninety nine cents actually. All right, there's more Starbucks stuff in here. I'm not sure about this. Yeah, I don't either. Somebody had donated their whole Starbucks collection. But it's very hard to read, but it's in script. It has Starbucks. It's yeah. Supposed to say coffee, but the black has kind of rubbed off on the coffee. But there's a fr uh, milk frother. It's pretty junk. cool. Yeah. If we don't sell it, we'll use it. Exactly. We froth many a milks. Every single day. Almond milk. <laughs> no dairy up in here. All right, you got these shoes because you were like, these are cool. Just I have not style. checked them. I hope they're good. Yeah. They were cheap, so I just got them. They look like art to wear, and they're Italian made again. Yeah. They feel really high quality. Nice, nice. Nine and a half. Medic. Miyuchi, Mi, 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 <laughs> yes, Sesto, Sesto Miyuchi. I'll check uh, it out, I'll let you know if I find check anything. Check it out. All right, cycling jersey. This was a dollar, so I got it. I don't know, it's branded, but I don't think it matters. This is from Voller. But yeah, I, don't, I think most cycling jerseys have, you know, logos, Hammer so. Nutrition, who doesn't want to... <laughs> thing that says hammer nutrition on it some kind of hammer nutrition coffee something all right 
I love about this. Oh, that's nice. This feels nice. I don't it know does. what this is. Misook. Nice. Okay. Not to be confused with Miss Look. <laughs> that's a thing, really? Yeah, the tag looks exactly the same. That's not cool at all. There you go. Don't be confused. It's a little bit of an older style, but it should still do well. I think I paid six bucks. Six yeah. bucks. There you go. On a mannequin, that'll look good. All right. This is... This is a good man brand. Oh, we love selling this brand. There you go. Medium plaid shirt. Some, uh, somebody let me know that good man brand is uh, Russell Wilson's brand. He's the Seattle Seahawks quarterback. We love selling his brand. <laughs> uh, and this is a Peter Millar polo shirt. Great. This was six bucks. This is probably the top end of, I wouldn't pay any more for these, but this, they're quick sellers. And this is like a tensile and cotton blend and linen. So it's oh, good. nice, good for the summer. Okay. Should go pretty quick. Anything else in here? There's a mug, and I think this is the last thing. I said we weren't buying any mugs. Yeah, what happened? Oh, oh but look at that. That's a Ray Dunn home. I have and the flower have pot the version of this. That matches I mean this. the teapot. And it's worth a lot. A so lot. I'm hoping that this might go with it. Either if I put them together, maybe I can make my teapot worth even more. Yeah, see, this still has the old uh, magenta logo on the bottom. Yeah, the typeset stuff, some of it's not great, but some of it's fan freaking tastic. Yes. So it just depends. And these mugs that are like kind of wonky like this, that shape, they do better in my opinion. They tend to do better, but I haven't looked it up, so I don't know. I'll let you know. So this says magenta exclusive. And it doesn't say Ray Dunn anywhere on it. I don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah, I don't know. Sweet. But I know that I have the companion piece. Yes. So you could make a pot of tea and pour it into this mug. Oh, man. You know, you could probably sell the combo that's set what I'm saying. for... That's what I'm saying. I think it'll make... So I think the teapot is worth about $1,000. I haven't listed it yet because someone had one for auction. And I was like, I'm still waiting for the... <laughs> perfect time oh I'll, I'll, I'll wait and then it'll be worth 50 you yeah, know what i mean exactly. oh, I'll do that. yeah but maybe with the cup maybe it's time maybe, maybe i was just waiting to find this right i don't well, know cool we haven't done a haul of video in a while that was fun it was very fun and i'm even more excited after this we're gonna film the junk bag haul oh man so stay tuned we're probably gonna put up a weekend video which okay. is like pretty exciting we haven't been doing those in a while either nope so stay tuned. And also, on Monday, we are switching our lives to a new YouTube channel. That's right. So you can catch our live listing tonight at 7.30 still. We're going to go an extra hour Friday, staying late for the West Coast people. And then Monday starts on the new channel. So please go subscribe to the new live listing channel linked below. Right. And if you want to see what this stuff is worth, we're going to be listing it tonight. So you could just look at our live and you'll see what we're listening for. We'll let you know. There you go. We'll see you guys then. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Bye.